Back with you courtside with uh, Coach Von Vogt's player of the game, and I echoed that. Ty Artis joins us now. Ty, that was a crazy game. Yes, sir, it was. And uh, you know, seven steals, none bigger than that one at the end. What did you see and what, what allowed you to get your hands on the ball? Um, just trying to make up for the missed free throw on the other end, just not giving up, just next play mentality. Coach emphasizes that a lot, and I just wanted to try to do that to the best I could. And then these guys are pit bulls. They do not give up. You, you had them down big in the first half, and they kept clawing and clawing and clawing. Coach Gervasoni came by, and he said, they're like that little dog that keeps napping at your ankles, and they just won't go away. Yeah. Is, is that the feeling you got as well? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, so, yeah, we had them down 20 in the first half, but it never felt like the game was over because we know how tough Vanguard is. We know that they're not ever out for the count, and they made it a tough game tonight. They're a tough opponent. They are a very tough opponent, but as we take a look at the league standings with the win, you guys improved to 7-4. and four. Vanguard below the line at 3-8, and eight, but we got to wait to see what happens with OUAZ, the Masters, ACU, and Hope today. Everybody trying to get in that top six to get to the postseason tournament. Yes, sir. How are you guys feeling about that right now? Um, we're feeling good. Uh, we feel like we control our own destiny. We feel like we just got to keep playing together, playing as a team, and the rest will do for itself. Yeah, I think you're right. And so now you get, what, uh, just a week off of nothing but practice, game yes, film, getting ready for Menlo. What's the toughest thing to do against Menlo? Um, the toughest thing to do against Menlo is just they're a tough team. They're a, a bigger size team in the league, and we just try to make sure that we can keep them off the glass and just get back in transition and just make it tough for them inside of the paint. And speaking of the glass tonight, their kid uh, Larson went off in the first half, and I said to Coach, hey, maybe this is a good spot for Duke to come in and play some good minutes and, and keep a big in check. I thought Duke played some good minutes tonight. Yes, sir. Duke came in, and he did his job. He got some rebounds. He got some – just some good physical presence inside the pants tonight, and this one is what we needed. Yeah, you definitely needed definitely needed the win. Exciting win, fun for us to call, and fun to watch for all the fans in attendance and those back home. So you're going to go in and get some good rest? Yes, yeah, sir. We need some good rest for this upcoming game. So what's on the chow line tonight? What you going for? Um, I'm not too sure. I might. What settle. you feeling? I might settle for some Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A wouldn't be bad. I could go for that. Now, do you just go for the regular Chick-fil-A, with the, you know, or do you go for the super with the bacon and all everything on it? Yeah, I need the... I need the bacon and the cheese. Got to have the protein. Got to have the protein. Yes, sir. All right. Great win. Great job by you. Seven steals. Very uh, glove-like, if you know who that is. Yes, sir. And remember when he was here, I was telling Coach, because he wasn't here for that game, every time somebody came down to this end of the court, that guy was yapping. Yes, Gary Payton will not stop talking. No, he, <laughs> he's not a soft-spoken guy like you are, no, Ty. he's not. All right, Ty Artis, our guest player of the game with those seven steals, none more critical than that one near the end, propelling the Warriors to the three-point win. 76-73, your final. That'll do it from this Saturday afternoon. Matinee, Warriors with the W, and us, well, we're going to head out. Maybe head to Chick-fil-A with Ty. You just never know. I'm Dave.